Hi everyone, this is Fred Bravo with Apple Bravo Tech. Uh, today we have in a uh, Acer Iconia 110 something. Well, that's for another job. Let's see. Okay, so we got this thing in. And so we got some charge ports for it in. Just, uh, Some of those uh, USB charge ports. All right, so obviously, uh, I think you guys are gonna know what this video is about. So it's gonna be about a charge port replacement, uh, something uh, simple and easy. Um, simple and easy enough, anyways. Uh, this is, like I said, for an Acer uh, I Iconia or Iconia One Ten. Um, so let's go ahead and I don't understand why this is, this came in this package, but it didn't. I don't know. It says charging port. Anyways, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and, uh, disassemble this thing. There's a, this thing's already got a little opening here. Um. Like so, um, I think it's been opened. Okay. <clears throat> the guitar pick would be better. Oh, hold on, just have there. We go, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's been opened. Uh, let's see, um, set that down somewhere, right there, okay, so what do we got, let's see here, and this, uh, this, this, let me fix the video a little bit, I was trying to get some better color, but, uh, yeah, that looks just kind of, uh, kind of weird. Does it make it worse? Uh, I'm gonna fix the lighting in here soon. I'm always gonna fix something. It's always something I have to fix. Um, but let's see here. We got the board. Here's uh, the charge port. Didn't even show you guys that a minute ago. All right, let me show you guys the charge port. Um, let's see here. Um, can't even see okay yep there's charge port and it's uh it's pretty bad oh wait okay again you guys uh, are not seeing stuff too great here let's see what we have huh lights on I mean, everything looks like it should be showing a decent picture. Let's uh, zoom it out. That's probably the issue. Okay. Well, if you can see there, it's pretty screwed up. And my videos suck. Okay. So. Let's go back here. Let's take a look at what we're looking at. Um, Alright, so we got the board. Flex cable here. Uh, looks like camera there. Camera here. So we'll remove that camera. That is going to another USB charge. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, what do we got here? <coughs> Another USB charge port. Let's see. Will this take anything? No. This might be for something external. This takes nothing. I mean, 0, 0.00. So, okay. Let's cancel that. Okay. All right. So, uh, looks like a fairly easy uh, disassembly here. Um. Let's see what we've got. Let's see. 
and I would look a little zoomed in. What if I cut that light off? Jeez, my lighting sucks. Oh well. Let's be careful not to uh, tear this flex here. Looks like there's another flex here. So let's go uh, let's go from the top down. I have not looked up a disassembly video or guide on this and I haven't done one of these before. But it's pretty straightforward. We'll flip these little black tabs up and we will pull out that little port. Pull that out. Let's grab underneath this and pull this out and be very careful. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and wiggle that out. I kind of, I was going to leave this tape on there, but uh, I think I'll just put it back at the end. See, I kind of uh, poked here a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, definitely didn't cause any uh, actual damage, but it's just uh, something to wa watch out for. So, uh, yeah, take that tape off. You know, there's the tape there. But take that tape off if you're going to do one of these. And uh, you just pull it out like that. You know, make your life a little bit easier. Um, we'll take off uh, this camera flex. Let's see what we got here on camera. Okay, so... We will remove this tape from this charge port, or I guess this is not a charge port, this data port, whatever it is, and let's see if that comes up and out, but it doesn't look like it does, or it looks like it might, but it has a little bit of adhesive underneath. Yeah, it's got some adhesive, so we'll peel that back, it's nice and slow. There's that, <clears throat> and we will remove this. Um, actually, you know what? I did not even have to remove that from the board. It's removed now, so I will keep it off. But um, if you're going to do this, uh, don't worry about removing that piece because it does not look like it needs it. Okay, uh, let's get on to the battery cable. Okay, the connector, there that goes. Um, looks like we have uh, something here. Let's see. Does that flip up? Do that. Okay, so that one flips up. And we will just uh, gently pull it out. Make sure it is disconnected from the board. It looks like it's probably going to be the buttons. Yep, that's the for the power and volume buttons. <clears throat> What else do we have? Uh, we got a little sticker here that uh, it's a seal that says, hey, we haven't opened it, but you know what? We did open it. <laughs> so, yeah, who cares? <laughs> and hopefully the microphone's going. I haven't even uh, haven't checked my recording set up in a few days. Yep, looks like it's going. Okay, good. Okay, and we will pull this out nice and gently. Um, let's see. Looks like everything's disconnected. We still have uh, this here. We can heat that up a little bit and peel that off and put it back on. Uh, it actually would probably just peel off right there like that. Yeah, it will. But uh, I'm going to give it just a little bit of heat. Why? Because I have the heat here, so why not? Turn it on. And I have it set on, uh, you know, we're just giving it some heat, so don't worry about, you know, temperatures, really. Uh, but I do have it on 340 degrees Celsius at a 60 liter per minute airflow. And uh, we'll just heat that up a little bit. And 
and be careful uh, if you're going to use heat, how close you get to stuff. Uh, I saw this little wire curl up a little bit. Uh, it didn't curl up, it just moved, which which means it didn't like that heat too well. But but you see how easy this comes off with the heat? You know, and that's that's really all I'm trying to achieve here. I'm just... Oh man, well you didn't see the other side, but at least you're seeing this side. Um, I just like to, uh, you know, peel that back a little bit. But it came off. This is the wire here that just slightly moved. It, uh, you know, just slightly moved when I had the heat. No problem, no issue, but uh, I just wanted to show that. Okay. And it looks like we have one, two, three, four. Four screws. Looks like we have four screws holding in this board. Um, so we will take our, uh, I don't know, what is this, 1.5? Whatever it is, we will take this uh, small Phillips screwdriver here. And all you guys know your little double zeros and all that stuff. You know, I mean, I, I mean, okay. So here's the, here's the thing. When when you work on anything, and I don't mean electronics. I mean anything where you're messing with screws or bolts. Make sure your tool is the right size for that. You know, and, I, and I'm sorry, I didn't show y'all. I took these two screws out over here. But anyways, make sure your uh, your tool is the right size, the proper size for that uh, whatever it is that you're you're taking off because uh, you'll strip it or or something like that, and uh, you don't want that. Okay, so I wish I could zoom out on this camera a little bit. Oh wow, was I zoomed? In? I forgot I zoomed in. So what I did was I just came in here, pried up, and it looks like. Uh, Looks like that, that took care of the board there. Just be nice and gentle. Make sure you took off everything. And uh, we're going to tackle this charge board there. So let me put this to the side. And uh, let's go ahead and get into some microscope view. And um, you know, we've got a little bit of brightness here. Let's uh, see what we've got with our. I want to. Okay. Let's call that good. Let's call that good and then let's focus. Okay. And what do we have on the other side? Of course, we have our five pins. Um, what do we have here? Some junk. That's what we have here, some junk. What is that, some kind of bootleg underfill? Jeez. What is this, wax? What is this? Whatever it is, it's coming, it's coming off, it's going away. Okay, there's that. We have uh, some padding here that, at a minimum, needs to be peeled back because of its location. I'm actually going to leave it on there just enough just to leave it there. We have, um, what is this, the audio input? Yeah. For the headphone jack, sure is. Okay, so we'll put a little piece of captain tape here, um, just to uh, let's zoom it out a little bit so you guys can see everything. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, we'll put a little piece of captain tape there, whatever. Let's get it a little bit better. What is, what is that? Uh, maybe there. Okay, 
And uh, we're going to hit this stuff with some low melt solder because that's what I like to do. You know, I know, uh, I know I don't do things like everybody else, you know, but I, I do things the way I like to do them. So, and I'm just going to peel this back a little bit here. And the only reason I'm doing that is just to keep some of the heat away from it. And I will just peel this back and put this right back. So, let's get some of that Captain Tape. Give me a second. Be right back. Okay, so I was looking for my uh, Captain Tape, and it was uh, right here, right beside me the whole time. Yeah. You know, maybe my wife is right. You know, she says, hey, you can never find anything, which is... You know, I'm not going to argue with my wife. You got to be good to, to your wife, fellas. I mean, that's that's a fact, especially when you got a good one. But um, you know, she's right. You know, I, I I I miss stuff that's right in front of my face all the time. Okay, hold on. Let's see. I I, I sent that in. Uh, I, I did that a little crooked. There we go. See, because what I want to be able to do is add solder here, low melt, add solder here, here, and here. And we have this, uh, what is this little water indicator? We're going to get rid of that. A little moisture indicator. Let me switch up the tweezers. Those are, yeah, a little junky. And we'll put this here. You know, this will this will be a good spot for it. Give us an idea if this this uh, thing ever gets its water damage. Hopefully not. Okay. So, we're here. What do we got to look out for? Well, looks like probably a resistor there. And um, a couple other components. A couple of components here. Yeah, so, uh, I guess let's look out. Uh, especially for this one this one's really close to so not add too much little melt solder where it's gonna where it's gonna catch that and pull it away no we don't want that okay so there we go let's uh, try and clean this thing like we're supposed to pretty good okay um so so let's uh, get a little low melt solder on our tip here and let's go ahead and add it add it in we have our iron set for 800 degrees Fahrenheit a little high for most people's liking but You can set your iron on whatever temperature you like. Um, I all the things you guys tell me. I mean, I do definitely take all of that stuff into consideration. I mean, I don't know how to do everything. I mean, I don't know how to even do close to half of the things most of you guys know how to do. But um, <clears throat> and so I do. I, I mean, I take I take your advice into deep consideration. That being said, I also I also have some kind of obsession with using a lot of heat um, for stuff. At least for stuff that I'm very comfortable at doing. You know, um, if I wasn't comfortable, I probably would back off on the heat. But uh, but yeah, I'm very comfortable with uh, charge ports. And a, a lot of this uh, hand soldering stuff. Let's see. So, and that got a little hot for me there. And I'm just mixing all of this low melt solder. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this low melt solder. I don't even have to. I was going to use the hot air. I don't even have to use the hot air. Look at that. You know? We're going to clean that up in a second. <clears throat> uh, 
Let's uh, just get a little piece of uh, wick. The favorite, my favorite part of doing these jobs is trying to find my tools and my equipment. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but um, there it is. You know, I know the general area. You know, um, but uh, I've got a lot of crap here. I'm not gonna lie. We will uh, cut a little bit off there. And we'll use our trusty reversed ceramic tweezers. Okay. We'll line up what feels comfortable. That feels comfortable enough. Um, I want to get all that low melt solder off of the board, of course. So let's add a little more flux. Well, let's see, how are we looking on the flux? Well, we still got a pretty good amount left. It's lasted quite a while. Uh, I've been, I've, I've told a bunch of you guys, you know, spend the money and get, you know, get the big amount of flux. This stuff lasts forever, 30 cc's. You know, I don't know. It probably started off. I was probably I probably had that much in there. So I mean, I haven't even used half of this thing yet. So, of course, some of you guys do a lot more jobs than me. I just do this, uh, you know, part time. But still. And there we go all cleaned up just that quick and easy and then let's see this thing sucked up a pretty decent amount of solder still has a little life left so I will uh, keep that uh, next thing cleaning toothpick cleaning with some isopropyl alcohol I got me a new little dropper here somewhere Where is my little dropper now? Wow. Wow, what did I do with that thing? Like I said, this is my favorite part of every repair. Yeah, I can't really find it. I don't really care. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to clean up my shop. Like I should do every day. I mean, well, every time I, every time I'm in my shop, but I don't. But tomorrow I'm going to. Everything's going to be rearranged. Not rearranged. Everything's just going to be put where it's supposed to be, basically. So, let's get all of that nasty flux. All right, so there we go. How do the pins line up? The pins line up decently. It looks like um, <clears throat> these go all the way to the front of these uh, holes. These line up perfectly there. And uh, so let's let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and solder this in. Uh, you guys know me from watching my videos. I love to do the pins first. You know, I got that from um, just trying different stuff all the time. You know, I always try different stuff until I find a way that I'm just like, whoa, I like that. You know, and um, even then, who knows, I might change this up later on. But uh, <clears throat> for now, for now, I definitely like this way. What we'll do here is um, I'm just going to add some to the tip. And then I'm just going to. I was going to hold it, but I think that's going to be good there. And we're going to come back and um, <clears throat> we're going to come back and put those on properly. I just kind of wanted to get them started. Okay, so now we'll anchor it down. 
we have the uh, I'm using the leaded solder of course nice and hot and get this nice and hot okay let's take a look at the other side looks like uh, good 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 and almost perfect but not quite so let's add just uh, we'll just touch that up and that looks good um, <clears throat> Let's clean off this flux before we get a little bit uh, too sticky everywhere. Yeah, definitely don't like that. Uh, I'm using the 99% ISO on this. You know, you'd definitely be good using like a 91% for this type of job. But uh, I just wanted to use that. Okay, so. <clears throat> you can see we still need to do we still need to finish the pins we have one in the middle that looks great and then we have uh, the two on each side that are just bridged so let's unbridge those <clears throat> and let's try and do it without any flux adding any flux okay that looks good that looks good this one at the end just has that, that little peak, and there that, that's gone. Okay, so so that looks uh, looks pretty good. But let's go ahead and finish that off. Why not wet both sides? Anyways, let's go ahead and finish that off with a little bit of a wiggle test. As you guys know, I like to do my little wiggle test. Wiggle 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 oops and wiggle and we just do that to make sure none of the pins are loose <clears throat> um, one of the other things we do check for continuity from pin to pin just to make sure nothing's bridged and that was working so oh so okay so nothing's bridged all right so <clears throat> So, uh, so yeah, let's see how that looks there. Let's see if we can get some good light. Well, I guess it's okay. Lighting, I mean. Solder job's good, but the lighting. Lighting looks okay. Let's see if this, uh. So yeah, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> okay, let me give it a, a one little final cleaning. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna have to go in the ultrasonic. Uh, we've got a little bit more flux on the top there, so so we've got a little bit a uh, little bit more flux than I would like. See that? That's flux. I mean, it's flux and isopropyl mix, but you can touch it and you can tell, you know. But what we don't want is we don't want flux in the charging port. So. I think I'm gonna stick it in just like that with these with these on there and everything and maybe maybe yeah yeah it's it's got to be nasty on the inside let me look yeah 
looks like it's got some flux in there. So, so let's let's stick it in the uh, let's stick it in the ultrasonic and we'll dry it out. All right, I'm back with the board. Uh, while I was uh, while it was clean, and I was watching my buddy Vince with a uh, uh, Zerus computer repairs. Um, I'm gonna have to finish that video later. <clears throat> but uh, let's see, I submerged. Where are we at here? I submerged the board. Uh... Hold on, sorry. Hit the mic. Yeah, I submerged the board probably from like here down, maybe a little less. Um, definitely, uh, let's, let's get that more focused. Um, <clears throat> I uh, definitely, uh, you know, I didn't want to submerge the whole thing. Uh, one thing that did happen, um, the uh, power button and... Uh, volume button it, it came off uh while that was submerged uh not a problem uh you know that that'll be easy to just put back on so um, i did uh, have it in 99 percent isopropyl alcohol and uh yeah so <clears throat> let's give it a little heat uh, and uh, I mean when I say a little I'm, I'm talking about a hundred degrees Celsius that's the lowest my machine will go uh, hundred degrees Celsius with a 120 liter per minute airflow um, and, and and this board is already looking you know it's looking a lot better than it was um, I don't know if anything got in here I, I, I think I soaked from the V down so, if anything got in here, uh, hopefully it wasn't too much. But, uh, you know, this, this will take care of it. Anyways, so. You can see how uh, how good those joints look there. You know they look pretty decent. I'm not trying to brag on my own stuff. I mean I'm just stating a fact. If it looked like crap, I would say, "Hey, you see how crappy the?" Uh, well, I'd probably say another word, but so you see how that looks, you know. But I will show that stuff too. Um, so there that is, and I just wanted to show it one more time. Uh, let's go ahead and <clears throat> see what it's looking like inside of the charge port because before we had a little bit of flux in there and if you look that looks pretty good okay if we zoom it out you know um, that might get you a better better picture but it looks it looks really pretty you know so so let's put those back down it seemed like they went back down pretty decently. Okay. Now, uh, let's figure out where these power buttons went. These power buttons. Uh, where did they go? They went right here. Oh, hold on. Let's make sure you guys can see. And that's not focused. Yeah, so where did it, where did it go? Right here. Then where? Like, uh, like there? I'm amazed that came off. I mean, maybe I knocked it off a little bit, but, you know. Um, I actually should have never unhooked that, really. Um, there's really no need for that. Um, and that's why it came off. I mean, it, it didn't come off for any other, really, really any other reason. Just, just that. Um, okay, so. So let's uh, let's put this thing back together. First, uh, first, let me get a picture of the old port with the new port. Okay. 
Enough fun playing with the pictures. Okay. Let's get back at it. Okay, that looks beautiful. <clears throat> and you know what? I can uh, I can probably plug this into the amp meter right now and see that it's taking something or not. Um, but uh, but I have a. Uh, I'd rather hook up the battery before I do that. And that's that's just that's all that is. I'd rather just hook that up. Okay. Let's peel this back, and let's get this button. Maybe uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Old crap port, new good port is in there. Okay, let's um, let's line up this power button uh, deal first. And um, let me take a look at it. That's gonna be right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And test it. You know, make sure it's good. This needs to be flattened down, but I mean, it doesn't need to be. It's 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 good like that. Okay. So that's there. That's there. Okay. So we can start plugging stuff back in already. Let's see what can you guys see. Sorry about that. Let's uh Let's start over here. Okay, we'll start with this. Okay. There that went. And uh we'll do the battery last. Like usual. Let's see. Almost didn't wait. Um, this, which way did this go? The other one, it went like this. So this one's probably the same. Okay, so there that went. That ribbon cable is now in. In. <clears throat> this ribbon cable is now in. Um, everything seems like it's pretty much where it's supposed to be. Um, that means we're going to go back in. We're going to put the battery in. Let me take another uh, quick look to verify. And yeah, I'm doing this verification off camera. Um not really by choice but it's just it just makes my life a little bit easier here right now um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this tape back on and this one went back on pretty decently and we will plug the battery back in okay <clears throat> so now everything is uh, maybe hooked up what went here Oh, the camera. Okay, let me unplug the battery one more time. This camera kind of moved around a little bit. That's not really a good thing. But, nothing got damaged. Okay, so. Camera is back in. Tape back down. Everything is good there. Okay, now let's put the battery, <coughs> uh, let's connect the battery back again, and, I'm sorry, so we just connected the battery back again, and um, we put the camera back in, and that was easy enough, that was just put it back in, um, stick it in, put it down, I don't know if I missed that or not, I wasn't really looking, um, okay, so, let's see, Let's back it up a little bit. Okay, let's see if this takes a uh, takes a charge. And this is actually getting a little bit dirty. Just my normal charging cable. 
it's not really too bad yet but it's getting there okay plugged in boom automatically we have uh, 0 0.47 0 0.46 so I think that's a good thing To me, that means it's charging. So we can let it sit for a little bit. Um, but uh, this definitely, let's hit the power button just for fun. And that power button is not sitting exactly where it's supposed to be, I can tell. So, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, I'm going to turn on the uh, microscope just to look under there. And uh, I know I don't have that on the big view, but uh, I don't really need it on the big view. So, so that's there. Okay, it looks good. Now, I was expecting to see some kind of charging symbol on the screen I'll make sure I did connect everything back it definitely looks like I did it's taking a uh, 0.87 amps You know, we've all seen this uh, where, uh, you know, it'll take a little bit to actually get that battery going again. So, for now, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put this back on. And, uh... <clears throat> Heck, I might have to jump start that battery. Maybe I shouldn't go too crazy on it. Either way, I'm going to stop the filming for now. Uh, go spend a little time with the kids before they go to sleep. And, uh, and I'll be back for this. Alright, let's see if it works. Looks like that light blinked. I don't know what that means. We have fluctuation on that, but but I'm wondering what kind of voltage we have on the battery itself let's see this thing is supposed to output about 3.7 volts and let's unplug it and um, let's check it out and you guys can't see the voltmeter but it says 3.4 you would almost think it'd be enough but yeah 3.4 3.5 the next pin over 3.5 okay yeah I figured it should have been okay that's a pretty slow charge I hit the button this light blinks a little bit wonder if there's something going on with this cable here let me for now and I haven't I haven't let it sit for very long but the thing is you know I'm expecting to see something something on the screen so let's take this off take a quick look everything there and I know you guys can't see that I'm sorry it's at least uh, let, let you see in the microscope Everything there looks fine. 
but the one right next to it. That looks fine. Looks like it might have a little bit of glue there. Get that off. I don't think that was the issue though. And let's see. I guess we'll go to microscope view. I don't think this can go in backwards. I mean upside down. Yeah, that's not going to be the way, but I mean, I'll just see if it can go. Because if it can go upside down, then I need to go back and check the video. That is definitely not the way it's supposed to go. It just doesn't feel right, you know. It just it just it definitely doesn't feel right. <clears throat> and it doesn't look right either, you know. This looks like the way it should go. Back in. Now, we'll plug it back up. Um, the truth is, uh, I, I'm just a little impatient. Um, yeah, I forgot. I thought I had this unplugged. Oh, yeah, I do right here. <laughs> you guys can't see that. Plug that back in. Okay. Um. All right, let's. I mean, let's just let it charge for a little bit. I mean, three point five should have been enough to turn this thing on. I would have thought. Okay, let's just inject some voltage. straight to the battery we're injecting 4.1 volts and one amp it is taking four volts and one amp and we will just let it sit for a little bit um, for anybody wondering how I inject voltage let me Pause this and, and, and show you. And, and let's let's get zoomed in here. Okay, so this is from my uh, DC power supply, and this is from my multimeter. Uh, the same thing with the positive side. DC power supply, multimeter. So now those two ends go to these. If I put them together, then it uh, then it does something, you know. If I put them to the positive and negative of this of this battery, then it's injecting four volts, and it's injecting one amp. So I mean I have it set on four point one, but uh, obviously uh, it's got its limiters. 
So so that's good. And I just and I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. And I just wanna make sure that I get this this battery going. I can probably let this sit like this for a, a little while and you know it'll be just fine when I want to do that I'm gonna show y'all what I do okay so I I put it where I want sorry so obviously and this is gonna be actually probably hard to see so it, it's where I want and then what I do is I lower my microscope to where it's pushing down on these two probes and it actually my microscope is at a point where it's not pushing down with pressure it's just holding them so now like my hands are free let's see oh there you go. now you can see it so so my hands are free what I do is I lower my microscope or I you know this is me picking it up and my microscope is actually uh, attached to this overhead camera so that's why it moves with it um, but I just I just do that and I let it sit and that's it and we'll just let that sit for a little bit all right so we are fairly well charged I don't even want to mess with that anymore uh, Let's go ahead and plug it on up. And I want to try and turn it on even without the uh, even without the uh, thing plugged up. Little cable. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, sometimes you got to jump start those batteries. You know, uh, definitely not the first time that's happened to me. Uh, let's go ahead and plug it up and let's see what kind of amperage it's taking. I would imagine it's going to take a little bit more than it was, but so far it is not. We'll give it a minute. I spent way too much time just <laughs> uh, uh, messing with this thing. I mean, I should have just put it on charge and put it to the side, but I wanted to do this video. Um, so, so yeah, it, it's all good. It's not a problem. I'm off work for the next seven days, so yeah, I don't care. <laughs> uh, this is this is what I enjoy doing. So, all right, and it looks uh, definitely says uh, charging. So yeah, it definitely says charging, and um, you know everything looks like looks like it's working pretty good. So uh, we're getting uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.3 amps of charging um i don't think that's that's not because of this cable i mean just a while ago we had uh just on when we were trying to get it going we had what one amp almost so <clears throat> so so let's go ahead and put this thing back together Should be on there pretty decently. Um, <clears throat> uh, definitely the battery uh, looks to be really low. Um, I'm just going to let it sit. I think once the battery uh, uh, charges up a little bit more, it's going to start charging a lot faster. Anyways, this was Fred Bravo with Alpha Bravo Tech. Um, thank you for watching my video um, if you have any questions please uh, put those in the comments if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you would like uh, some kind of a repair like this in the future um, I probably won't link uh, at least not right away I probably won't link uh, an address uh, in the uh, description yet uh, but uh, that that is definitely something that's coming um, I am updating my website um, and I will be I, I'll have a form that that you can fill out 
and send your devices in with. Uh, you can prepay or you can uh, just send your device in for diagnostics. Um, <clears throat> right now, this is all just, uh, I'm just, you know, this is all in the thought process right now. Um, but it's definitely something that's going to be done here in the near future. Uh, you know, mail-in repairs. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. If you want something repaired, though, just uh, just shoot me a line. Just uh, send me a little message in the comments, and uh, and we'll talk about what you want to get done. I have a I have a phone number, business line. You know, you can give me a call. You can look me up on Facebook. Uh, I have a uh, actual website, um, and uh, I'm Alpha Bravo Tech. So just uh, just do a search for me and find me. All right. Thank you. You all have a great day.